All right, guys. Tyler here, Plainsman Outdoors. We've got one of our dog groups here. I'm out here doing some pulling. I just wanted to show you, I finally got the right attachment for my drill to get a socket on it. And so I just have a cheap Wally World hyper tough 20 volt drill. And I bought this uh, trailer jack off of Amazon for like 50, 60 bucks. That's, that's all I got. And so the ground is getting softer, but as you can see, uh, still kind of a pain. So the top side of this jack here takes a three quarter socket. Get my battery in here. Got a couple clips here. Get that all straightened out. Get this thing hooked up. And you can run it through the chain, through your length, whatever you want. There you have it guys trap pulled for the end of the season i've already pulled two two others using this and most of you guys have you know drills with you for drilling in your bait holes and everything on the back side of your dirt hole sets and whatnot so but I, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about this. I, I know we started using that big old jack, the hammer jack, whatever it's called, but they're big, they're <laughs> heavy. This thing, I don't even know how much it weighs, but it's cheaper. It's smaller slider weight. I can throw this in my trapping bag and It's got that like say three-quarter socket get you the right attachment for End of your drill to be able to run a socket and I'm not gonna say that you'll be able to pull all of your traps obviously the ground has gotten softer so frozen ground, you know, might not be able to. A lot of your frozen ground, you're probably, unless you're running chain, probably gonna end up breaking your cable. We've ran into that quite a bit. I know Kyle has, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to do some more with frozen ground here next year or whatnot. But this thing is sure beats those bigger jacks and it definitely beats having to sit here and crank on it and although it works nice you know even if it is in the frozen ground having to crank it by hand if this drill isn't heavy duty enough then I'll still be able to save some time and some cranking on at least lowering it back down so I'm pretty happy with this I'm, I'm really happy that my thoughts and theories on using this have worked out so far so hope this helps some of you guys out. Uh, who knows, maybe you'll turn to it and save some time, energy, and effort getting traps pulled. Thanks for watching, guys. Planes and Outdoors.